question about the handkerchief. Ah, the mysterious Mr. X. Come out of I mean, have you? I expect you're an essay. Oh, no, no, I'm not an essay, but I can tell you who is. Stanley Larson! Or should I say, Stanley L. Larson? England's notorious arsonist. That's absurd! the activities of Mr. Larson for several months now, and I finally have enough evidence to put him away for a very long time. You have a handkerchief with some initials on it, Mr. X. That's not enough to incriminate anyone. Now tell me, have there been any fires since I've been here? <laughs> well, there have been a few in the kitchen, but that's only been since Basil has started cooking. Mr. Clipper. If all had gone according to plan, there would have been more than a few kitchen fires. What is that? I have no idea what you're talking about, Mr. X. Mr. X, stop stalling and explain your story. Chief Wakefield, let's re-examine Stanley Arsons and Mr. Clifford's possible motives for stealing a necklace. Here we go. During our investigation, it became apparent that Mr. Clifford's hotel business had been under financial strain. As for Larson, Arson, I mean, well, he was apparently in debt. He couldn't pay his hotel bill. Aha! Didn't it strike you as a bit odd that Mr. Clifford simply allowed him to stay without requiring a cent from him, especially since he needed the money? Well, yeah, it did cross my mind. Henry Clifford's hotel business was going poorly, so he decided to write to rich, famous, wealthy people in hopes that this would boost business at his hotel. As you all know, this maneuver failed. When this happened, he invited Mr. Arson to the hotel. He secretly hired him to set a fire here so he could collect the insurance money and relieve himself of a struggling business. But the advertising did work. Walsh and I are here, aren't we? Ah, yes, but Henry here had it counted on that. You spoiled his second plan. He'd already hired Arson, and then you two showed up. He could very well have the hotel burned down while you were staying, now could he? Well, I'm glad he didn't. Looks like we're gonna have a full house down on the station tonight. Mr. X, I'll let you arrest Clifford and Arson. Thank you. Ah, right then. <laughs> right then, nothing to see here. Move along.
Mrs. Fairfax. I uh, can't wait to inform Chief Wickfield of this latest development. What? <coughs> Holmes, dear, shall we go and collect our bags? It appears we'll be staying in a different hotel tonight. It looks like we're unemployed. Unemployed? It means that we job battle. No job? No job. Where is everybody? You can never get any decent service in this hotel. 